Hello, I'm Brandon. And I'm Sheila. With God Ventures, and we're asked to make a video of what we did with our new screen door. And before we do that, and have the big reveal, which uh, we should have made video as we were putting it together, but we didn't do that. We're going to do that more of that in the future. But uh, for now, we go through what we had. We had an old nasty screen door. This thing, that every time you open and close the door, you got that aluminum screen door rattle. And there's this lovely what's, yarn work. What's this? That's the way we got it. We don't know what that is. I mean, it's perfect. It's fine underneath there. They weren't holding it together or anything. I don't know what is that is all about. But anyway. We did not like the noise, we did not like the look, so we had to find something new to do. So we went looking for a wooden screen door. So just so happened, so we went to Menards, and lo and behold, they had one on sale. 20 bucks, wooden screen door, wooden frame screen door, had little dividers in it. You know. It was basic, and you could have stopped there. That was, it was fine. Yeah. So we get that and got it close enough to what we thought and got it here and it was a lot bigger than what we needed so we had to cut off from the bottom and the side and one side totally disassembled it it had no glue in it whatsoever that's why it was a cheap screen door so uh for with help from my buddy gary farmer who had all the wood shop already set up in his house we uh cut it apart we took it apart and we ended up uh cutting it to fit resizing it together screwing it back together, gluing it all together. We had to cut new uh, new slits for the screen to fit in and screen the rope. And we had to router all the edges all the way around because the new screen door was an inch thick. The old screen door is less than half an inch thick. Which I, I think it is uh, like 7 16 thick. So anyway, it's almost half an inch. But anyway, so we had to router everything down to make the new screen door fit. And it did. It worked perfect. And then uh, my wonderful wife, she's a graphic designer, designer. She designs all kinds of things. She comes up with the neatest ideas. And we, uh, we are pickers and grinners, and we do all kinds of stuff, getting, finding weird, amazing stuff. And there was a place in Poplar Bluff that was remodeling an old place, and they were throwing away all this stuff which was all the, we call it gingerbread, which is all the fancy routing. Sometimes you see in the peaks of old houses around porches and stuff, and they were throwing all this away. I said, oh, I want that. So we got it, not knowing what we was gonna do with it. And it sat there for a good year, probably. And uh, she thought, why not use that? And let's go see if it'll work. And so we went and got it started piecing things together and thought, hey, we can use this. Sorry, we live in Skeeterville. I'm trying to keep the Skeeters away. <laughs> Skeeterville, USA, Gila, Missouri. But uh, so we thought we could put all that together with our new screen door and end up having to deassemble what we'd already assembled because the bar, if you see, we've got this cool round window. The bar in the in that was in the door, I didn't think about, but it ended up going right in the middle of the window, and we didn't like that at all because we loved the little round porthole window in our arc. We call this our arc, and it is a 1987 Vogue 3. Got a big Detroit motor pusher diesel, 40 foot. We love it, but anyway. So here's the big reveal. If you haven't seen it already, you may have. Here's the big reveal. Ready? Ba, ba, ba. Ta -da! Oh, sorry. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. In all its glory, you see the intricate detail work of the vintage gingerbread. And, and uh, this, we all. We pieced almost all this together. And you see where we had to piece a few pieces together, but, uh, but it fit perfectly. It's three quarter inch, what we was looking for. And you couldn't, we couldn't hardly find. Now, if we was to buy all these pieces of gingerbread, this would be, just in the gingerbread, would be four or $500 easy just in the trim work. 
but since we found it for free, dug it out of the trash, so to speak, it uh, it cost us near nothing. I believe we put together about $38 is what we have in this door all together. Now, a lot of hard work and a lot of time we spent to put it all together. Uh, so we have some examples. We're going to go inside now and get out of the mosquitoes and quit letting them into the ark. So go inside, Sheila. Here's our home. Excuse the mess. Just got a new door handle in. Yay, look, look. Pretty new. Thank you, eBay. They found that on eBay. Because the old one is kind of floppy jalopy and we got a new door handle for, I think, $23. Anyway, there's the view of it with the window from the inside. And we had our challenges with framing that out and making it look good with the round window. But I think we got it. I'm going to take the camera out. So, there we go. Sheila, describe to us, because I did all the uh, putting it together. And she helped, you know, putting it together, make sure everything fit and cutting and sizing and and uh, putting all that stuff together. She did, you know, the design, the kind of the layout of how how it all went on, you know, and then uh, then she did all the painting. And, and the painting I used just Rust-Oleum spray paint, two-time ultra coat. It has the paint and the primer, and it works great when you have all this detail. Nobody wants to paint that with a paintbrush. So it went pretty fast. I did maybe two coats and then I um, wanted to rough it up and make it look a little more country and rustic, which we kind of like. So I used um, a paste finishing wax mixed with um, some ebony wood stain. And it worked great. I just rubbed it on and rubbed it off and it gives it that cool, dirty kind of look, I guess. Like. Show them what the, the vintage oh. gingerbread started out like. This is an example of a piece left over from some of the stuff we were using. And we had used this part that went around here. And we mainly cut with a, what's that called? Jigsaw? Jigsaw. Scroll saw? Scroll. We used a jigsaw. We used a scroll saw. We used a, a circular saw. Mm -hmm. We used a drill. We used a, a grinder. <laughs> we used we used a lot of stuff. Sander. That, yeah, sanders. Of um, course. Oh, and I used this tool. If you've never done screen doors before, I it's haven't either. extremely simple. I still extremely haven't. simple. Well, I got to do that. But this is the tool that you'll need. And this pushes in the rope. It's like a rubber rope and um, you just push it into the groove with this tool and it stretches it as you go and makes it tight and it was really really simple. Easy to do. Anyone can do that. I was pretty nervous about doing the screen so I let her do it. Mm. <laughs> so that's basically the gist of everything. Of oh what wait. We, well, no. Oh, well, we added nope. trim. Oh, yeah. We had to put trim around yes. where the, the groove was with the screen door. You see? Yeah, we so we hid where the screen, because the, you've got to cut out a, an eighth of an inch. Usually the, the width of a saw blade, circular saw blade, is, is what that is. And we uh, I did a quarter inch depth. So you have to have that cut all the way through. And we used that trim to cover that. And she did all that. And she even did, you know, all the miter saw work. She enabled it on. She did all that by herself. Yay. So proud of her. Yeah, she <laughs> did a great job. Watch out world. So that's pretty much it. What we did and uh, can't wait to do something like that again. I really enjoyed working with the wood stuff. It was, it's, uh, it's fun. Mm -hmm. right? So. And there are a couple of things that aren't finished yet. We haven't come up with the, the square that needs to slide over the door handle. Yeah, we need there. to come up with something that goes over here and that will slide back and forth. So we'll have to have some kind of track. Um, and also we don't have something that we think we're going to magnetize the door to the frame so it stays closed. Right now it doesn't stay closed yet, but that's okay. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We're not using the screen door right now anyway because the air, the air is on and it is 
99.9% humidity outside and like 108 degrees or something like, like that. that. Southeast Missouri is horrible in the summer. <laughs> it is hot and it's muggy and uh, I mean if you can see real close I am soaking wet from being outside a little bit. It's kind of gross and stinky. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Many more to come. And, uh, Let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we always give God the glory. Because without Him, I wouldn't have the smarts to do it, neither would she. But uh, praise God, and thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.